Hi there, Amit here for Phoneler and in this video I'll be talking about the air quality and the PM2.5. In the last video I had done the review of the Xiaomi's Air Purifier 2 of which I have been using from the last uh, few months. So a few of you guys asked me what is PM2.5 and uh, let me clear you this query. PM or particulate matters. Now these are small little matters which you could find in the air but you cannot generally see it with your eye. Now they are very small. If you talk about a human hair itself, though uh, the hairs are generally in the diameter of 50 to 70 microns or you can say as micrometers. Now in that case, the PM particles or you can the PM uh, particulate matters are around 2.5 microns, which are actually very small. Again, there are different ways of finding these. You can find different uh, websites which report the data of the pollutions in different cities and most of them are PM 2.5, which is something which uh, is uh, making worth making a note of because those are the particulate matters which would uh, enter your nose or or can give you asthma or any of these kind of issues and that's the reason people generally use an air purifier so i have been using not just the Xiaomi's air purifier and also some uh, chinese brand and also a philips air purifier which we have it in our office again as you can note in this video itself title itself we have mentioned this as the cleanest office and the reason is that right now you can see that there's pm0 in our office now that's pm 2.5 which is at zero generally if you are in Delhi you would notice this would be around 100 which is actually very bad now this is a monitor which uh, is from BJ hike again this is an industrial uh, standard monitor which most of the brands or the uh, or the supply teams actually use to test the air quality and then uh, before installing an air pro uh, monitor or before installing an air purifier or an air conditioner they would generally use this and uh, check the data so as of now if you can see here it also shows the pm 1.0 data which is around 0 pm 2.5 which is anything from 0 to 1 and you can notice that this is a very big room if you have generally seen our video studio room it's a pretty big room and it's generally at 0 which means that it's actually very clean and here's another product which is from origins which also reports around 1 which is actually very neat or i would say this is one of the most cleanest offices in the world again uh, this is a product which is a beautiful one it is available in india and uh, this also syncs uh, with your phone like bj hike again there are only chinese apps at this moment this is a product called as origins which i have been using from quite some time the third one which i have here is uh, from spec uh, this is a product from us but unfortunately while it was on this way from uh, us through usps the display got uh, broken and again it's not uh, just showing you the pm count but also shows the uh, it also gives you the count on the particulate matters in the air and it shows some additional data but again do make a note that it's not clearly visible in uh, the display and hence most of these uh, products should be used with your smartphones so overall there are different kind of uh, air uh, quality monitors which you could use but again uh, the Xiaomi's air purifier itself also comes with uh, its uh, their own application which is the Mi Hope which I have been using and uh, if you note uh, using the app itself I could switch on the air purifier this way and uh, the moment I do that I can also make changes to it like increase the air speed which is like going to the turbo mode and uh, disabling the same from the application itself so according to the app since the purifier has just been started it's at uh, pm count is at 10 which is still a safer thing but generally speaking if you are looking at the air qualities if you are somewhere in the range of uh, 0 to 50 it should still be okay and if you can find an air uh, monitor in your place just get that one before buying an air purifier check out the air quality if it's consistently below 50 then you are safe to go you don't even need an air purifier but in the next video i'll be showing you how you could reduce the uh, pollution in your home without the need of an also an air purifier itself because uh, there are ways you could just uh, put a small mesh and your job is sorted but again air purifier is actually better because it would uh, systematically set up you can uh, schedule the time and everything and then it would uh, pump out the air or you can clean out the particular matters into the air uh, from the air through the air purifier and collect all the dust and then throw it separately so this was a quick uh, video on uh, pm 2.5 which is uh, actually hazardous if you talk about delhi i was in delhi last few weeks back and uh, when i took these monitors there i found that uh, the data was actually showing that uh, the pollution levels were around 300 and again in winter actually this increases because of uh, these light particular matters which are in the air generally because of the 
uh, winter season they all actually come down and then you would be actually breathing them again this also happens if you are keeping your doors open in your home or if you are on the street all the time because there's a lot of pollution outside again these matters or these particulars actually come out from the sand when vehicles drive so that goes into the air or also from the vehicle pollutions or from factories again there are different types of uh, factors also which can be counted into this there is uh, uh, something which comes from the factory or maybe also from the paint which is peeling up on your home in the furniture of your home or many other use cases so generally a good monitor would help you out in finding out all this data and since i'm using few of this i just want to show you there are two more which uh, yeah there are two more here actually i found them here so this is actually called as net atmo which is a weather station i'm not yet using this one uh, there's another one which is a very small one this was a kickstarter project so this is another one so you need to buy one of these to first check if you are in a bad environment or not and then you could actually decide if you really need a air uh, purifier or not so this was a quick video on uh, educating you how to find the air quality in your locality and if you should be actually spending your money on the air purifiers or not again if an air purifier is from philips which is costing 50000 rupees then you need to think a few times but if it's something which is below 10000 rupees then i think you should take a look at and again xiaomi is planning to buy uh, launch their one of these these purifiers in india i think the pricing should be around 10 to 15000 rupees and uh, Aquagard has already launched a few models. Uh, the smallest one, I think, is at around seven thousand rupees. So that is also something which you should take a look at. Uh, the Philips ones, uh, I think, if I'm not wrong, the last time I had checked, uh, the range actually started from fifteen thousand rupees. So that is no go because that was a very basic, simple model which also had a very small room capacity to clean the air. So that said, uh, you should be actually taking a look at both the Aquagard and also the Xiaomi's air purifier because that should be very competitive priced. So that's it for now guys, uh, see you in the next video, let me know if you have any queries around uh, these products and I would be happy to answer you in the next one. Thank you.